all websites are made of sections. For example, navigation section, banner, and many others. In blocks app, each of the sections are called a block. So basically this is a footer block. This is a navigation block. And as you can see, I'm switching between them using the layer navigator. As I showed in the previous video, we also have the page navigator here. And here we can switch between the pages. Of course, we can reorder them here. Very cool. Now, let me create a new project. So when we create a new project, obviously we don't have much going on here, but we can change that by clicking on this plus button and adding any of the available blocks. So we have two types of blocks, basically the structure blocks. These are the empty placeholder blocks, which have the columns and rows inside. We also have the pre-made content blocks, which have some kind of content inside. Basically, when we build the website in Blocks app, we make a number of pages. We add a number of blocks to each of the pages. And each of these blocks can have as many content inside as we want. So here, for example, you can see in the layer tree, we have a simple block with a row inside and a column inside. Right now, we don't have any content there. But if we hover over this column, we see this plus button. When you click on this, you can get to brick bar. And this is where we add the content. You can see that blocks four comes with a good collection of available bricks. And you can use all of this to create any type of website. No matter of fact, I have used only these bricks and I have built over 200 websites. But if you want more, you can go to block store and download three and paid cool looking custom bricks from third party developers. So to add a brick to a column, just click on this button and select the brick you want. Once again, you can add as many bricks as you like and each row can have as many columns as you want. And each page can have as many rows as you want. And as you can see right now, I am duplicating this by selecting and using the command D. Very useful shortcut. And by the way, I will leave a list of the most useful shortcuts in the description under this video. You might have noticed that we have this blue area up top and at the bottom of our project. This is because these areas are global areas and they are the same on all of the pages. So let's add the navigation to the global header area. Basically what you will put in the global header area is navigations or some kind of content which you want to have on all pages. In the footer we can place, well, the footers. Another popular sections or popular blocks we can put here are newsletter sign up sections or something like that. So when you build a structure in blocks, you can select any of the elements such as blocks or bricks, duplicate them, select and delete them. You can move them around by dragging and dropping. Or if you go to the sidebar in the layer tree, the layer navigator, you can 
select the elements there and move them around not just between the same column but you can also move the columns to another blocks you can move the whole blocks You can duplicate, delete, or move to another page, any of the blocks you have there. And basically you can adjust the structure of your website any way you want until you get to the right structure. So let's once again go to the Barista website. And let me summarize this video for you once again. All blocks websites are made of pages. Each page is made of blocks, which are basically the sections. We can use the structure blocks to create our own layouts, or we can use the pre-built blocks if we want to save some time. Each of the blocks have the rows and columns inside and inside each of the column we have the content such as text, forms, images and other content. Blocks app comes with a number of very good bricks or content available for all of your websites but if you want to install more you can go to block store and download free and paid custom bricks for your blocks project. So in the next video we will take a look at how we can adjust any of the elements on our design canvas.